everyone and welcome back to more book of demons so there's two things here some people had requested some more in-depth gameplay and i figured all right we can show that off it's a fair concern that the gameplay sh that's beautiful that is beautiful right there i love the details in this game also back on the menu i was trying to just load up to get to this point and i was trying to skip the intro cinematic and it was amazing like they had a little thing on the bottom left where you have to hold to skip and it was like maybe half a second so you couldn't click by mistake and skip it but at the same time it wasn't super annoying you'd have to hold for 10 seconds that was just a beautiful little touch i thought in any event two things going on here and number one people want to see uh the more in-depth gameplay so we can make that happen because it is a concern that maybe you're just going to be spamming auto attacks i don't think so i think it's going to be get very very challenging and very amazing later on in the game but uh, and the second thing is, I spent many hours yesterday attempting to fix my audio from the last um, the last episode of this. So let me know if it's any better. Uh, also, we've unlocked the rogue and the mage. Boy, these guys look cool. They look super cool. I'm just kind of curious. Can I see what they do? If I were to create character. The Book of Ice. Boost your spells with ice magic. Ooh, hourglass slows time around you, giving you a tactical advantage over the enemies. That is very cool. Golem. Summons a powerful rock golem to fight by your side. I love this class already. I love anything that summons things to be tanks while simultaneously having the ability to slow down time in a real-time game. Amazing. Let's check the rogue out really quick. Just kind of curious what they do, and then we'll jump back into the game we had yesterday. Um, okay, here's the rogue. Fire arrow. Equips your character with devastating fire arrows that do additional damage to ice monsters. We have claws. A monster getting too close? Cut it to... Ooh, cut it to ribbons. Interesting. And we got decoy. Summons illusions to fight by your side and quadruple your firepower? Wow. Okay. Crazy stuff. Anyway, let's continue over here. And additionally... Oh, look at all these guys in town. Let's go talk to this guy first. Thank I like how he just shrugs. for hearing my prayers and sending us a champion of light. I shall aid you in your struggle to the best of my limited abilities. Come to me should you need remedies for ailments of body or soul. Yet you should remember it is no small task to face the legions of evil. You must shield yourself with faith. Oh, whoops. Ah, so here we can heal, replenish Death Rage. 130k. Death Rage recharges with level up, and after reaching level cap, it can be recharged here for gold. Mm, not sure what that is. I, I actually skipped some of his um, intro, but... Do I want to do any cauldron stuff? I don't think so. Let's just jump in. Make some progress here and unlock some more cards. So we got four, five, six, seven. You could have ten eventually. I imagine you'd be going back and forth and doing all kinds of stuff. But let's begin this. We're not that far down. And yeah, I'll go for a small, I think. We get more rewards. Ooh. We can do medium. It's actually 21 minutes. We get 17 rewards. All right, let's do this and see how this works out. Wow. So it's showing us what we're going to fight. I see. I didn't realize this is another very subtle thing. It's showing us there's going to be about a dozen skeletal warriors. There's going to be some shielded skeletons. There are some archers. There are monster unmet. One left. Okay. Flying wild hog. Some left. Monster unmet and monster unmet. Whole bunches of new things we're going to be encountering today. Let's get in. Just curious, can I jump down here? No, we gotta go through this way. You can hold your position and disable auto attack by holding the hold button, shift by default. Interesting. Not sure why I'd want to do that, but I'm sure there's cards that would interact with that. You can highlight all objects using the alt key or toggle it using caps lock. Oh, that's useful. You can also move using WASD keys. Yeah, I already, I've been doing that already, so. Yeah. Who's this guy? Oh, whoa, he was a stone gargoyle. He was actually in stone mode, okay. 
Huh. Okay, I'm just gonna get back into the swing of things here. Oh, gotta click on that. I actually really like that you gotta move over there and click to get rid of the poison. Because it's not as easy as it looks moving the mouse all the way over there when you're focused on a million things going on. But if you're very skilled, you can make some good use of that. Now, I'm assuming this recharges my mana. Or what does it do? I like that. <laughs> I like that. I guess it just gave me one, uh, one health. Maybe it would have potentially... Ooh. Jared the Cursed. All right, let's see what he's all about. Now, I do have bombs. What is he doing? Ooh, he's firing something super slow. Ooh, there's arrows back there as well. Okay, I want to get rid of this archer. Doesn't look too hard, except there's a lot of these guys. Boy. I don't think I need to use my fire bomb just yet. One thing that'd be really cool is to get more mana so I can actually use my disenchant and my throw. Technically, I can use the throw. I just need to get closer. Oh boy. Oh boy. Can I do this? Oh, it hits everybody. Really cool. Uh, I'm about to die here. This is not good. I have to be super careful. There you go, Jared. Get out of here. Those those archers were wrecking me. I must be perfect about this. This is where I could go back. Could go back to town and heal if I absolutely needed to. Every time I click, I walk closer to its head. <laughs> you are dead. Click to resurrect in town. Death takes its toll. Roguelike standard difficulty. Gold loss 1000. Alright, well. So those do not work the same way. This is the first death of your character. You're no longer a daredevil. Your best depth will be recorded in the first death leaderboard. Okay. Collect your tombstone to retrieve your lost goods. Each time you die, your lost goods will be moved to the new tombstone. Does not apply to casual mode. Okay. Show Hall of Fame. Wow. Apparently level 50 is as high as you can go. I'm not on that. <laughs> it would seem. When evil strikes you down. So is it possible heal free after any death? Okay. So we're back up. We currently have no cards at all. My horoscope predicts. These creatures are me. Okay. Well, back in we go. Now, I was kind of curious because the arrows, as long as you move at all, they don't hit you. This is a different thing entirely. If you walk back into this, it does hit you. Nice, there's all my stuff. However, I'm a little bit concerned about what I'm gonna do here. We're gonna have to charge in and throw him, I think. Yeah. Oh God, get out of here, Jared. Okay, now that he's out of the way. Okay, who is the boss achievement? I could have done that much better, for sure. One thing that stands out about this is that the positioning of Jared made a huge... Because we can only walk on these paths. And originally I thought, well, that's kind of lame. But it actually makes it a lot more tactically challenging. Because enemies can be shooting you along those paths. And you're going to have to reposition them. Or reposition yourself. Or to use, um, use summons to take care of things. Or to take hits for you, rather. Ooh. Shadow Sword. He grants an answer attack against additional opponent in range. Hmm. Let's actually try putting that on. We'll take the fl frozen flail off for now. We'll put that on. This gives us more mana so I can use my disenchant. Now let's refresh on what disenchant does. 
Char changes. Changes all monsters' special hearts to normal ones. Okay. Not charges. People were saying I've read that wrong. Effect time, four seconds. Cool down, 20 seconds. Hmm. So maybe I would use that against the gargoyles? Not sure. Ooh. Those arrow guys are actually pretty difficult. Oh, God. The... Oh, boy. Yeah, if you're on a line like this... I wonder if there's a way to teleport, like blink. Yeah, I'm just getting hit. Wow, I gotta get out of here. I'm actually probably maybe gonna die if they shoot me while I'm running away. Woo. So I was wrong about how arrows worked as well. They just have a narrower arc, is all. Doesn't seem like there's a good way to get in there. Oh, here, here we go. Rock evil, a gargoyle of sorts. If there's a circle around a boss, the boss is immune. The immunity timer progresses while you are inside the marked range, regardless of whether you attack the boss or not. This is amazing. Just as I was talking about having to move around and make good use of the battlefield, now we have to move around within a boss for a certain amount of time just to be able to hit him. That's going to make things super challenging. I think that the depth of the gameplay... Oh, no! He dropped a rock behind me. Okay. What is he doing? Okay, let's do some bombs. I think it's a good time because he's going to summon all these random things. Oh. There we go. That was a nice, easy introduction to what he does. Mana potion. Rapidly regenerates mana on use. Okay, but... I think I'm oh, I'm fine with what we have, so we'll just hold on to that for later. This feels like Diablo, but with actual skills. Like, if you guys liked Diablo, the original one... This seems to have so much more... Oh, God! Maybe I should use my distant... Look at this flying dupe! Get out of here! It's actually pretty challenging, to be honest. But yeah, the original Diablo was just literally clicked. I mean, you just literally clicked. This, sure, you're clicking, but there's a lot more depth to it, in my opinion. What is this over here? Way down? Now, one of the things I read in the original tutorial is that these things up here are all the items on the map, so we can see we haven't seen these. You walked by the prize, but didn't collect it. If I click on this, is it bringing me to it? No, it was. Oh, I was just clicking on the. I was clicking behind it. I see. So there's still one prize we haven't gotten and one shrine. Okay, well, there's the shrine. Boy, I am not doing good. I did just wake up, but. I'm actually okay with clicking being the primary thing in the game. As long as... Right. There's other stuff to do, and there definitely, definitely is. There's a lot of other stuff to keep an, uh, keep an eye on. You're receiving double experience. Bonus XP left, 1194. Okay. Oh. Oh! Oh no, oh no. Oh, that's... Oh, look at that. We just poisoned that Skeletal, and then we line of sight hacked him behind the sarcophagus. I totally meant to do that. It's like lead strategies right there. Okay, so this is now going all gold, because we've done it. And that's everything. So now we know we're done, in which case we can just click... I think there was an easier way to do this, but... I just click on this. Maybe we're done this level. Now, anything new in here? This is a Skell Circer. Yes, there's one unknown thing. It's like some kind of floating bishop of sorts. Nice. I definitely need some heals.
New card. Ooh, teleports you back to town. I wonder... So, if you're getting into trouble, you could just m quickly throw that in. Now, I wonder how long it takes to change the card out. Like, let's say I want to get that in. Let's get Firebomb out, put Town Portal in. I can do it immediately. And then we're going to try to keep that there in case I want to use it. Oh! Thank God I leveled up. Apparently the health pool is a trap and a gargoyle came out of it and didn't give me my health. I want to keep going for mana. So I want to play with the cards more. Might make more sense to do health. But I also would really like to play the mage, to be honest. Uh-oh. The heck? That's a that's that new guy. Oh, he shoots poison bolts. I see. Ooh. Oh my god, those arrows are terrifying. I super desperately want some way to deal with archers with this character, and I don't have it. Now hopefully this isn't a golem. Nope. Here's something interesting. So I came down here and this is not gold. How come? Oh, because I just didn't... It's in little blocks of like four tiles or so. And once you step on them, they think you've walked on everyone. All right, more arrows again. My absolute nemesis here. If I hit alt... Okay, it just shows me all the gold. Ooh, what's this? Another time. Oh, it takes a scroll. Didn't realize it was a consumable. Now the question is, does it take a long time to charge up, or does it happen right away? All right, we've done everything in here, but get two more chests. So if I wanted to, I could just move on. But I'm kind of feeling completionist. Casting monsters. Some monsters cast skills. During casting, monsters are immune to damage. Interesting. Usually you want to attack monsters when they are casting to interrupt them, but not here. Click and hold the skill bubble to break the skill of the selected monster? Oh boy. Oh boy. Let's get this guy... Oh, whatever that was, I didn't like it. Massive, massive poison damage. Oh boy, I gotta, I gotta get out of here like right now. He's immune. Okay, now he's no longer a cat. That was dumb. I could have done better. Notice how my special ability. Please don't hit me. Okay. Everything's good. Okay, now's the time. Yes! Anyway, my special ability for Shadow Sword does indeed proc extra attacks. With all the things moving, it's- Ooh, these guys are in stone form. I see. What if I can disenchant? No. Just used it. I see. Once I walked by, it activated them. Yeah, once once again. <laughs> this is... I should go back to town if I were smart. But I'm greedy. Okay, now we go back to town. We got another scroll here as well. So I think, rather than use my scroll, since I'm in the middle of the fight, I can just come over here and walk back to town. All right.
right. How can I help you, my 260 friend? to heal. And then man is 100. Do I? How much money? I have 4,700. Not sure I necessarily need it. Let's go see what this one's all about. Future is very grim. Mana potion, fire bomb. I'm not, not going to use the fire bomb anymore, I don't think. Let's try getting rid of this. 250 fire bomb. What happens? Oh, charge card. I thought it said change card. That's the one everyone was telling me about. I misread. I see. So I charged up the thing I wanted to get rid of. Yep. Ultimate skills. It's interesting because if you go to your card menu, time slows down, but it's still moving, and you can quickly swap out. Like, say I wanted to get rid of the Shadow Sword or put the Shadow Sword on. You have all kinds of real-time tactics. But you have time to put them on. Oh, that really hit that far? I didn't think the poison would hit that far. Ooh, that's so... Wow, look how far that came out. Ah, uh, here's my friend. I've learned how to handle him well. What is... What is this? I'm stuck, I'm stuck, I am stuck. Throw everyone out, out of the way, other direction. Town portal. Oh, I hit it too. I totally hit the town portal, but I didn't see it work. I don't know if it takes time, and I died while that was happening. How can I help you, my friend? I don't know. I'm get. I'm not. I'm not getting the sense that this game is just spam clicks like Diablo was. I think you really need to assess the situation. Oh, you can zoom out a little bit here. Ah, you can just use the mouse wheel to zoom in and out like that as well. So this is awkward. Okay. I'm right next to the health pool, too. I should have just clicked on it. Ooh. Recovers hearts lost in battle. Bloody armor. So if I didn't waste so much of my money dying, I might have been able to um, Let's check the surroundings first. increase my active cards. What is this? Uh-oh, uh-oh. What is that? What is that indeed? Get away from it. I don't want to mess with that. I don't want to mess with any of this. There's a lot going on right now. Okay, wait. Here we go. This is a good opportunity to get in. Wreck one of them. Wreck the other one. Get everyone away from me. Town port. No, click on the heel. <laughs> Clicked on it that time. Get the poison off. This is amazing. I gotta get out. I gotta get out. Oh, I can't use the town portal. I see. No. Wow. Well, that's it for me. Can't afford to resurrect. All right. Um, I didn't plan that through. That was pretty pathetic, but all things considered, very fun. I just want to see how the mage plays out really quick. Let's create a new one. We're going to call him... Wizard. Xavier. Beautiful. I'm sure it's going to be pretty simple in the very beginning. Yeah. Here's all of our regular things. We talk to her. She unlocks this guy, then we go back. To I just want to see what the mage does. Oh, 
Oh, look at that. I hit escape and it immediately cancels the whole process and gets me right in. I think this game is very challenging. Mage's missiles are guided and will... Oh. And will avoid monsters on their way to the target. Oh. Use right mouse button to shoot freely. Or use special missiles. The dead seem to be particularly lively today. This is cool. Now this is what I like. You gotta shoot these things. And then wait for the missiles. Let me shoot over here, right? Okay. Yeah, pretty simple in the beginning, but... Let me see how this works. Like, let's... Whoops. Let's try to shoot... Hold on, I was auto-attacking that. Let's try to shoot the second guy. Yeah, it goes right past the first one. Interesting. Hmm. This is more my style, the mage. Ooh. Ice bolt. Prepare multiple frozen missiles. Okay. We'll use that on the first boss and see what's up. of this place has been fouled. <laughs> well, this place is terrible. All right, it's got to be someone up here. He's like a little low level boss or something. Ooh. Brit the Swift Handed. I must have seen this before. I just don't remember it. Sounds like me, right? Ooh, I just baited him into shooting that chest over there. I wonder if I can bait him into shooting his friends. All right, let's go use this ice bolt on him and see what it does. Whoa! slows everybody down. I'm not sure if it gave me 10 attacks. Let's try it again. Okay, yeah, it turns my regular... My left... Hold on. It turns my right click into an ice bolt is what it does. Do that. This is the but my left click is still the normal attack. That's a pretty cool thing. So you can decide when you want to use it and when not. Wow. I have five hit points as the mage. <laughs> Surely nothing will go wrong here. One of the rings of power. Time to get lucky. What happened? One click crushes whole shield level. Oh. Heart spawned with each normal shield level destroyed. Two to four. So you actually make them more stronger by destroying their shields? Electric bolts spawned with each magical shield destroyed. Two to four. What does that mean? Do they come out and attack me? Or what is this thing? To do on this level a barrel. Yeah, we'll just go down. All right. You didn't die even once. You killed every- I think I could do much better as the mage, honestly. Eighteen minutes. Look at all of that. Four levels. If we do small, it's three levels. They visually represent it as well. Uh, by the length of the chart here. And they show you when you hover over them how many enemies are there on the map. Let's try a very small one really quick. Let's say I only have five minutes, like I want to end the episode, right? Mm. 
The other cool thing is you don't have to keep clicking. You can literally just hold it down. In Diablo, I really hurt my wrist holding the button down years ago. It was a little bit better in Diablo 3, but... Interestingly enough, I never played 2. In fact, f fun fact, most uh, popular video on my entire channel to date still is an old Diablo 3 video. Like exploiting mages to do 8 billion melee damage. What the heck? Oh, that's right. I had that special ability and I wasn't even paying attention to it. My chaos ring, the shield, I should have paid more attention. I never used my cauldron stuff either from before. Okay, there we go. One... Oh! It drops hearts on the ground and then people can pick them up. I can pick that up. It looks like they can pick that up as well. Very interesting. Although I have so little health, I mean, if I get hit, I'm essentially dead. Try it again. This one should be super short now. Let's see if it is. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yep. You can't get shorter than that. Okay, ice bolts. Ooh, look at that. They just they just hit people. They just go right where they need to go. Lightning sends a chain of lightning towards targeted monster. Lightning forks into shorter lightning bolts when it reaches its target. Hmm. Let's give it a whirl. Wow. Let's see what's... Oh, I'm out of mana. I can't use it again. Melee guy getting wrecked. Take this. this game is smooth. It is smooth, 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 smooth. I like it a lot. It just feels gratifying to play it. The different classes feel like completely different classes. Ooh, there's all the hearts. Hey, this is a good opportunity. To see... Oh, I was going to get poisoned and hit the hearts, but... To see if that was going to work to heal me or what. Mass Dispel. Dispels all enemy skills. Hmm. How does that work? Spell one spell every 0.3 seconds. Or 10 seconds. Cooldown time, 6 seconds. Okay. Interesting. So if I was fighting a boss who was casting a bunch of skills, rather than having to run up to him and click on the skill to disable it, I could just cast that. Oh, you know what? When you're off the screen, that's... Yeah, you just click on this and it brings you right to it. Or apparently it doesn't. I forget how it works when you can just click on these things, but that was cool. That was a quick little five minute thing. And that essentially opens us back uh, right to where I was at the start of this episode. Just with a different character. Purchase cauldron contents. Now I haven't done that. So far, so good. Let's go see what actually happens. Do while you're away. The fortune teller. Magical cauldron. One prize. Collect prize. Do you wish to collect the cauldron prizes now or wait longer and risk losing the bonus? Hmm. So I could have actually not died before if I was smart and collected all the loot I had in the cauldron to get more money, maybe? Taste to soup. Next cauldron costs 500. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, I had to pay. Never mind. Sorry. That's 100% wrong. I had to pay 500. To get whatever this bronze prize is. That's so cool. Look, it's floating around and everything. 
I paid 500 to get 84. <laughs> Any game where you can lose by gambling is a fine game in my eyes. Anyway, I still really like this game. I think, um, in my opinion, it's very clearly demonstrated that it's going to be a lot of thinking. A lot of switching out cards, a lot of dealing with each, um, each situation on the fly. And you do, it, I do like how it goes into time slow down mode, so it gives everyone, regardless of your skills, a little bit of time to, like, think. Not too much time, but quite a bit of time before, like, you could see arrows coming towards you and be like, Oh god, what do I do? In fact, that's what I should have done when I was in the middle there and I was massively overwhelmed. Uh, when I died as the warrior, I should have just hit escape and be like, Whoa, let's think this through for a second. Would have been better than just flipping out, praying for luck, but... Interesting. Very interesting. Anywho's, there you go, friends. Second, um, second episode of Book of Demons. Let me know if the microphone sounds better. Also, if you think the game plays deep enough to justify a purchase, I personally want to just play this game all day, but I got other things to record, so we're going to have to end. What the? This one moved. They moved. We're going to have to end in style. I love it. I love it. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon. Ah, uh, here's my friend. I've learned how to handle him well. What is... What is this? I'm stuck. I'm stuck. I am stuck. Throw everyone out. Out of the way. Other direction. Town portal. Oh, I hit it too. <laughs>